In life, there are many rules that we need to abide by, such as don't slouch when you're sitting down, always tell the truth, look both ways before you cross the road, eat your goddamn dinner, and lastly, don't eat yellow snow. Life as a YouTuber is no different, it just has its own set of rules. Never create a video in one take when you could do it in 8,000 takes. Always record at least one video a month where you haven't plugged your microphone in. And the one that we're here to celebrate today, please ensure that your YouTube thumbnails have a dorky expression and a big outline around them. Now this is very important. Rules 1056 of the YouTube thumbnail terms and conditions stipulates that the YouTube algorithm gods will not endorse any video without A, a goofy expression, and B, an outline. Okay, okay, there are exceptions, but you catch my drift. While some people like Peter McKinnon and Matt Devella will get away with extreme high quality, beautifully choreographed visual masterpieces that make your eyes sing, some of us need to rely on the tried and tested format that YouTube favours. So in this video, I'm going to show you very quickly and very easily how to create an outline of your image on a thumbnail without having to master the overcomplicated world of Photoshop. Instead, we're going to use my favourite application, Canva. Now I pay an annual subscription for Canva which is worth every penny and makes this process super easy but this can be done with a free account too. So there you have it, it's fast, it's easy and it's free so there's no excuses. I want to see those goofy face thumbnails today, let's do this. So we've just gone to canva.com now, like I say I've got a paid account but I've just logged in with my free account because I want to show this so that anyone can do this as well. Now we're going to click on create a design and we're going to create a YouTube thumbnail. Obviously, you can use any of the templates, any of the different sizes. I've just created a YouTube thumbnail so we can see the layout a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload a photo that we've already taken. And I'm just going to click on Upload and Upload Media. We'll use this one. Now, there's something that I need to show you that I think is worth paying for the paid version of Canva alone. Now the biggest challenge we've got here for a thumbnail is we now need to separate my ugly mug from the entire background. Now if you click on the picture and click on effects, if you've got the paid account you can just click on background remover and it does it for you. Really easy, click of a button job. But because I'm trying to show you on the free account we need to do this slightly different. So what we do is we go to a website called remove.bg and they basically remove the image background. So you can click on upload image or you can just drag and drop your file onto the actual screen. So we're just going to upload our photo now just to see if it removes the background. And it has done and it's done a pretty good job. Now the only catch that you've got here is if you want to download a high res version of that image you're going to have to pay to do that. But it does let us download a low res one which is more than enough for a YouTube thumbnail. You've got to remember when people are on YouTube they're only going to see these in small kind of image files. So we'll download that image and we'll go back to Canva. I'm just going to delete this one now and import the other one as well. So there we go, we've got a picture of my ugly mug and now what we want to do is add that outline. So we're just going to click on effects. Now Canva has all these inbuilt uh, kind of effects that you can apply and some of them are really good, you can do some really good things with them. The one we want is actually a new one that they've put right at the bottom here and it's this shadows. So let's just click on see all and there's different types of shadows. So depending on what you want to actually do, if this wasn't a YouTube thumbnail, you could add little kind of backdrop shadows and curved shadows. There's loads of different things that you can do, but we want this glow. So click on glow. And as you can see, that's kind of put a default glow around that picture of me. Um, it's not quite what we want. So if we click on the icon again, you can see it's got these lines and it's basically got some additional settings. So there's different things we can try now. We can change the size. Transparency. And the blur. Let's just make that a little bit bigger so we can actually see actually. So I'll just make that massive so it looks awful but you'll see what I'm doing. There's transparency. So you can have the solid colour or you can have it faded all the way down. And blur is exactly like it says on the tin. Blurred or a clean line. And we basically want to mess around with these until we get exactly what we want. People use different effects. One thing we can do is we can change the colour. Let's add a red to that. Let's put the transparency right to the top so we can see the red. And let's blur that a little bit because that looks horrendous. And just reduce it down. 
And that's it. It is as simple as that. Now, one thing to note is that if you apply that and then you go back onto it and think, oh, do you know what? I'm not actually that keen on that red. If you click on the icon again, it is kind of lost that settings now. And if you click on glow, it will apply a new version. So you've ended up now with two. You've got kind of a black shadow on top of the red. So you may need to kind of play around. You can always just undo what you've done. So you can click on undo at the top and just take some of these settings off. And again, just play around with it. It all depends on your backdrop. So if we put a dark backdrop on there, then click on effects, go down to shadows and click on glow. Click on it again so we've got the settings because a black shadow is absolutely no use on a black background. Let's put white on there. Let's turn that blur down a little bit, put that transparency up. And there you go. That's exactly how we add an outline to our photos for a YouTube thumbnail. I hope that's helped someone. If you want to see any more Canva tutorials, then drop down into the description where I've put several in there that are going to help you with your YouTube channel. See you next time.